isn't, we have a separate layer, uh, you want to go to the secondary arrow in uh, the layers menu and go to drop or drop all. And that'll basically drop it to the canvas level. Once you make sure that it is on the canvas level, you want to go to effects, you want to go to surface control, and you want to go to woodcut. And what it does is it basically breaks it down into a limited amount of colors and also kind of gives this big kind of dark uh, heavy black outline that kind of mimics the woodcut effect. Um, you have several controls here. You have the output black. If you turn that to off, it'll take, care, take away the black. You have the vice versa here, output color, turn that off. And you just have the black and white. Um, you have the black edge, controlling that. Uh, you have the erosion and you have the erosion time and the erosion edge, which basically just kind of control the softness or the jagginess of the, uh, the edge of the black. And then you have the heaviness of the black, whether you want it to be like a super thick to the point where it just kind of blacks out the whole thing, or you know, it's pretty much up to you. And you can also control the number of colors. You can increase it to the point where it almost becomes you know, the original image or you can take it all the way down to just a couple of colors. Um, you can also control the color edge in terms of how they blend with each other. And you can also change these colors out. So you can go ahead and click this color and then go to your color picker or color wheel, whatever you want to call it, and you can pick colors and more or less kind of replace the colors that are in there. It's a great way of kind of breaking something down into very basic shapes, kind of similar to uh, Photoshop's filter uh, paper cutouts, um, but it kind of does a better job of mimicking the actual uh, woodcut effect. So that's it for the woodcut effect.